Hello and welcome to Lyra Nara. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most important organs in our bodies, and that is the kidneys. But before we do that, we all know that Black Friday is upcoming, and for that occasion, we have created some amazing deals on the most powerful holistic health devices at lyranara.com. These deals are uh, valid for a very limited time only, so be quick, take advantage, link in the description box below. So, the kidneys. When you take a look at this picture here, you will notice that they look like two embryos. Interestingly enough, in traditional Chinese medicine, the kidneys are regarded as the carriers of the life essence. Why is that so? Well, in this video, we're gonna explore the answer to this question. We're gonna show you all of the very important tasks the kidneys perform in your body and all of the health conditions that can develop when they are underperforming. And of course, as always, we're also going to present to you some natural ways in which you can keep your kidneys functioning well and healthy. So without further ado then, let's explore the kidneys and why they are the essence of life. Let's start then by talking about the kidneys from the point of view of TCM. So the kidneys are a water element, as you can see also from the graph here on the right. The season associated with the kidneys is winter, so therefore it is especially important to slow down and conserve energy by getting more rest during this time. The ears are the sensory organs related to the kidneys according to TCM because the fear comes through the ears to the, and goes to the kidneys. For example, when you hear a sound in the bushes, uh, when a lion is ready to attack you. And therefore, uh, ear health issues are a signal from your body that the kidney's energy needs extra support. The bone is the tissue associated with the kidneys and if the kidney's energy is low you may have therefore symptoms such as osteoporosis, dental issues or developmental issues during puberty. The taste that corresponds to and supports the kidneys is salt. So when you are craving a lot of salt this might be a signal from your kidneys that you need this salt and you should have a salty snack. Fear, anxiety and panic are the emotions associated with the kidneys. Therefore, if you often have severe panic attacks, you suffer from anxiety and fear, your body may be trying to tell you that the kidney energy is running low or is imbalanced. The biggest cause for depletion of the kidneys are stress, overworking yourself and toxins. The emotions that disrupt the health of the kidneys are fear, fright, insecurity and feeling unsafe. Another cause for kidney exhaustion is excessive loss of semen in men and in women bearing more children that their constitution can support. In TCM the kidney is the lowest of the so-called zinc or solid organs and therefore the kidneys are considered to be the roots of the body which supply the body with vigor and vitality. And just like the growth, development and lifespan of a plant depends on the strength of its roots, in humans the growth, development and lifespan they all depend on the strength and vitality of our kidneys. And thus the kidneys uh, contain the essence of life according to TCM. The kidney essence determines the growth, development, maturation, reproduction and is also responsible for the vitality and longevity of every person. And there are two types of essences according to TCM, the prenatal essence that you inherit from your parents and the postnatal essence that you acquire during life. 
The prenatal essence is something constant. It is given to us by our parents and thus the health state of our parents determines the quality of our prenatal essence and somewhat the quality of our life. The prenatal essence nourishes the fetus and predetermines the growth, development, sexual maturation and fertility. People with insufficient prenatal essence suffer therefore from infertility, uh, impotence, uh, mental and physical underdevelopment, especially in children, as well as premature senility in adults. The postnatal essence is gathered, as the name already suggests, during life through the energy of the food we consume and our overall lifestyle. The postnatal essence is uh, variable and depends therefore on our own choices. So healthy eating habits and an overall healthy and spiritual lifestyle generate postnatal essence while unhealthy and insufficient diet, cigarettes, alcohol, living in polluted areas, stress, etc. They all disturb this postnatal essence. Based on the choices we make, we will influence thereby the length and the quality of our life and the various life stages we go through, such as pu puberty, maturation, menopause and the aging process. Another important fact to know is that all body fluids pour into our kidneys. And the kidneys experience two ways of draining themselves. One way is through the sexual urge, which draws the essence downward to the sexual centers. And once it exits from there, it cannot come back into the system. And another way is the upward dispersal, which draws the body's combined essences all the way up to the mouth. And from here it moves down through the throat into the stomach, lubricating the five organ networks, nourishing all body pathways and finally returning to the kidneys. And this is the microcosmic process of ascending and descending. Those who are knowledgeable in the art of nourishing life take care to shut off the lower exit of kidney essence called jink in TCM via ejaculation while striving to keep the upper pathway of jink nourishing the organs and brain uh, open and unobstructed and in this fashion there will be a nourishing cycle that is free of leaks. Physical vitality, jing and the mental clarity, shen will be abundant. The nutritive qi or ying and the protective qi called wei will be strong. Inside we will have enough water essence to control the fire of the heart as well. The outside qi will be enough to ward off noxious influences and this is what the art of expelling disease and the art of longevity is all about. It is also important to understand that even if our parents' essence might be poor and efficient, we still have the chance to magnify our postnatal essence with the food we eat, the lifestyle we have and the choices we make and thereby greatly enhance the quality of our life and our health. The kidney essence also generates bone marrow. Therefore, a deficient kidney essence will fail to nourish the, the bones, which will cause poor bone development and late closure of the fontanelle in children, softening of the bones and of the knees in adults as well and back soreness will be also present. In Chinese medicine, the teeth are also considered bone extensions and therefore there will be also problems with the teeth, like loose teeth or a loss of teeth. The marrow fills also the brain. Therefore, deficient kidney essence may be responsible for mental dullness and retardation in children and poor cognitive abilities as well as memory problems in adults. Kidney essence deficiency will cause also hearing loss and or ringing in the ears, better known as tinnitus. And the kidneys manifest in the hair as well, thus poor kidney essence will cause also hair loss and premature graying of the hair. Symptoms of a kidney essence deficiency are poor physical and mental growth, 
a slow development, incomplete maturation, weak sexual activity, impotence, poor bone development, late fontanelle closure in children, a softening of the bones and knees in adults, back pain, loose teeth, mental dullness and retardation in children, poor memory in adults, a hair loss, as well as a premature graying of the hair. Our kidneys are also a very important part of our endocrine system. The kidneys are the most vital zinc organ in TCM, however, the material basis of kidney essence is still undefined. The kidneys are also an endocrine organ secreting quite a lot of important hormones and therefore we propose the idea that the kidney endocrine substances such as uh, renin, calicrine, uh, erythropoietin um, or EPO for short, uh, calcitriol, bone morphogenetic protein or BMP7 and clothor are all potential candidates of the material basis of the kidney essence. Renin is produced by the renal uh, juxtaglomerular epithelioid cells and its secretion depends on salt sensitivity. Renin is believed to be the regulator of the kidney yang due to its participation in the blood pressure control system. Then uh, calicrane uh, kinines, uh, the uh, calicrane kinine system or KKS for short, is mainly expressed in the uh, distal tubules and collecting um, ducts of the kidneys. It lowers the um, HBP and promotes the differentiation of stem cells which are associated with the kidney yin. EPO is exclusively secreted by the renal interstitial fibroblast cells, which can regulate the differentiation of the red blood cells, stem cells and the progenitor cells. Calcitriol and BMP7 uh, control the bones. Calcitriol is produced via the 25-hydroxyvitamin D3 in the renal proximal tubular cells while BMP7 is expressed in the renal outer medulla and in the glomeruli um, in several glomerular cell types such as uh, the mesangial, epithelial and endothelial cells. Knocking out BMP7 in mice resulted in death shortly after delivery with kidney failure, skeleton deformity and eye loss. Clothor is mainly expressed in the distal tubule and the collecting duct. As a longevity gene, clothor has been widely known as its um, reduction directly affects life expectancy. Serum alpha clothor levels in healthy people rise with age uh, to young adults and then gradually decline while age increases, uh, showing a parabola. So, causes of kidney essence deficiency are stress, overworking yourself, so burnout syndrome, toxins, fear, fright, insecurity, excessive loss of semen in men, and bearing more children than the constitution of a woman can support. Uh, symptoms of kidney essence deficiency are, as we've mentioned already, poor physical and mental growth, a slow development, incomplete uh, maturation, weak sexual activity, impotence, poor bone development, late fontanelle closure in children, a softening of the bones and knees in adults, back pain, loose teeth, mental dullness and retardation in children, poor memory in adults, hair loss as well as premature graying of the hair. And with all that recap, let's move over to what might be the most important part for you. What can we do naturally to keep our kidneys working well? Well, the Chinese believe that the best way to nourish an organ is to eat the same organ from an animal. Thus, foods that significantly build kidney essence are animal kidneys, brain, and liver, uh, the last one being a strong uh, blood tonic, which is essential for nourishing the kidney essence uh, as blood is part of the essence. 
Animal bone marrow is another food that greatly enhances kidney essence. You can buy uh, big beef bones, for example, from your meat store and have them cut in small pieces. And then you can slow cook them, um, the bone pieces, in water for several hours until the bone marrow falls out. And then you can eat the bone marrow immediately or use the broth to make a soup by adding some beef and or vegetable cuts. The human placenta is also a typical Chinese medicine remedy, which is used to build up kidney essence, especially to restore vitality after childbirth. It is dried and sold in powder form, but some cultures also consume it as food. It is said that the placenta is the only meat that stems from life rather than death in traditional Chinese medicine. And for vegetarians, don't worry, not only for you, but also for vegans, of course, a great way to build essence, uh, kidney essence, is to consume microalgae, such as blue-green algae from Lake uh, Klamath in Oregon, or spirulina and chlorella. Barley and wheatgrass also have a strong growth-promoting effect. Nettle is another great blood tonic, which is essential to build up kidney essence. And you can also drink it, uh, the nettle, in a tea form, or you can cook it like spinach or eat it as a food. Royal jelly is uh, another unique essence creator. It's made by the bees from bee pollen to feed a mother bee. And because of the royal jelly, the mother bee is much bigger in size uh, than the other bees and fertile and can lay the countless eggs it does. Thus the energy potential of royal jelly stimulates sexuality and reproduction. Being uh, having such a high energy potential though, royal jelly is a very hot food according to TCM which should be used with caution as it may generate internal heat. The best way to balance out the royal jelly's hot nature is to take it together with blue-green algae, which as most water inhabitants is cold in nature. And certainly to build kidney essence, the kidneys need to be nourished properly. Great food for nourishing the kidneys are all kinds of beans. Um, beans on a vital level, good points to nourish the kidney essence are the kidney 3, it nourishes the yin, the do 4, it nourishes the yang, the liver 8, nourishes the blood, the ren 4, tonifies the kidney essence and enhances fertility. Uh, gallbladder 39 tonifies the bone marrow, do 14 stimulates the bone marrow to reach the brain and the urinary, uh, urinary bladder 23 tonifies the kidney. On a mental level, the best way to accumulate kidney essence is to dedicate time to a spiritual practice, such as meditation. In TCM, the kidneys govern both the urinary and the reproductive system. Thus, the kidney chi controls the urinary and reproductive fluids such as urine, semen in man, and the vaginal secretion in woman. The chi of the kidneys may become uh, deficient for two reasons. One is old age, when the kidney chi together with the kidney yin, the kidney yang, and the kidney essence naturally deplete, and the other one for this kidney chi deficiency is excessive sexual activity. The causes of this kidney chi deficiency, though, uh, thus the major causes are the aging process and an excessive sexual activity. Symptoms of this kidney chi deficiency are frequent uh, urination, dribbling after urination, nocturnal urination, incontinence, uh, enuresis, premature ejaculation in men, nocturnal emission in men, spermatorrhea in men, chronic vaginal discharge in women, as well as a prolapse of the uterus in women. How can you treat this kidney chi deficiency? Well, good foods to tonify the kidney chi are parsley and beans. To stop the urine leakage, you can eat astringent foods and foods and herbs that are naturally rich in vitamin C, meaning all kinds of uh, citrus fruits, but also 
herbs uh, such as rose hips and uh, schisandra fruit. To tonify the chi of the kidneys, the overall chi of the body needs to be tonified as well. Uh, the digestive system, which is collectively called spleen in TCM, is responsible for the state of the overall body chi, thus it is important to tonify also the chi of the spleen. Another way to tonify the chi of the kidneys is to tonify the warming faculties or the kidney yang. On a vital level, the best points to tonify the chi of the kidneys are urinary bladder 23, which tonifies the kidneys, do 4, which tonifies the kidney yang, and kidney 3, which tonifies the kidney yin. Moxa could be used on urinary bladder 23 and do 4. On a mental level, we may visualize a strong force entering the body through a point of the spine in the lower back, which is known as the gate of vitality. And we can experience this force fueling nourishment and strength to our kidneys and warming the whole lower body. We can feel this force then going through our urinary bladder and reproductive organs, making them healthy and vital again. We may remain in this sensation of warmth and vitality as long as it is comfortable and also add deep breathing exercises, meaning that you inhale slowly for 4 seconds and also exhale slowly for another 4 seconds. There is also a group of herbs that enter both the kidneys and the liver channel and benefit symptoms connected with the deficiency patterns in these two organs. As the kidneys govern the bones and the liver governs the sinews, some of these herbs benefit also joint problems as well as numbness, weakness and an atrophy of the sinews and bones. Next, let's look at some foods that support kidney function. Let's finish this up by talking about some foods that support your kidney function. So, when you are suffering from a kidney chi deficiency, the symptoms that you might experience are low back and knee pain, premature aging, bolding, incontinence, seminal emission and feeling fatigued. Emotions-wise, you might feel insecure and have excessive fear. And healing foods here are parsley, wheat berry, rice, oyster, clam, salmon, raspberry and blackberry. You should also try to avoid excess of any kind, whether it is sexual, alcohol, work, stress, diet, any kind of stress. When you're suffering from a kidney yin deficiency, symptoms might be that you hear ringing in your ears, you feel dizzy, you have a dry throat and mouth, you suffer from insomnia, low back ache, weak legs and red cheeks and tongue. Emotions-wise, you might feel irritable, have anxiety, you are not dependable, you are not committed to anything. And foods that might help you are millet, barley, tofu, black and kidney beans, soy, melons, blueberry, chestnut, potato, spirulina, seaweed, black sesame seed, sardine, crab, egg and cheese in small amounts. You should also try to avoid stress, anger, alcohol, coffee, lamp, cinnamon or spicy foods. When you have a kidney yang deficiency, symptoms might be that you have a cold body, pale and puffy face, weak knees and low back, no sexual desire, a clear profuse vaginal discharge, infertility or edemas. Emotions wise, you might experience no willpower, you are inactive and not productive and indecisive. Foods that help you here are walnuts, almonds, cinnamon, cloves, fenugreek, anise, onion, quinoa, lamb, salmon, trout and black peppercorn. Also avoid fruits, raw foods and excessive salt consumption. When you suffer from a kidney essence deficiency, the symptoms are impaired growth, mental retardation, slow thinking, weak bones, loose teeth, dizziness, hair loss and painful knees. And emotions wise, you cannot focus or concentrate, you are slow and insecure. And healing foods for this condition are spirulina, chlorella, liver, kidney, brain and bones, bone marrow, 
placenta, almonds, milk, nettle, royal jelly and bee pollen. Also avoid excess and an excessive lifestyle in general as well as marijuana. And with all that being said, if you have any questions about this subject, please do not hesitate to contact us. 1-888-773-3196. I'm also going to post our complete contact information in the description box below. We love to talk to you and advise you on what is best for you. If you enjoy this kind of content, please also do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on the holistic health content that appears on this channel every week. And with all that, stay healthy. Until next time.